Let's go. Welcome back to another episode of Explore Rigs. Get excited. This is a big one, guys. I'm here picking up the brand new Explore Life vehicle. Now, look, the sign in the background is going to give it away just a little bit. We are in Brizzy. We are at Oz MV. A lot of you are going to know exactly what's going on, but I tell you what, we're not going to muck around. I'm going to get straight in the shed. Come and check out my brand new truck. It's getting exciting. We're on. Let's do it. Yes, my Welcome, man. Matt. How you going? Good, how are you? Mate, I'm excited. Good. I'm bloody excited. Have nah. a look at it. Yeah, it'd be good. I'm um, really excited to provide you with this Ram 2500 Tradesman. Yep. It's got the big beast, 6.7 Cummins, six-speed yeah. auto. You're going to have a lot of fun building this up. Mate, I'm so excited to rip in the build. I tell you what, there's going to be a few angry Toyota fans <laughs> right now looking at the Ram badge. But um, I'm going to run everyone through exactly what's going on. But mm. mate, appreciate all the help so far to get this over the line. and. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely bring it back when she's all done and rigged up. Sounds good, buddy. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Legend. All right, guys, no mucking around. I can't wait to show you this thing and explain exactly what is going on. Come on, let's jump inside this thing. Well, first off the bat, you'll notice we've got a problem. The steering wheel is on the wrong side of the car, guys. So. That's going to give away a lot about what is going on. We are actually going to build the ultimate 2500 Aussie Ram and it's getting shipped over to America. So we are going to head to America this year, guys. We're going to be spending about eight months traveling around America. We're going to be at all four major Overland Expo shows in America. We're taking the Australian 2500 Ram back to America and we're going to show you guys all the epic spots that you can get over and explore in America. Now look, I've spent the last 10-15 years traveling around Australia, uh, seeing some of the most iconic locations, some of the most epic beaches and I wanted to take the channel to the next level and show you guys something different. Now don't worry, we've still got massive plans for shooting content in Australia. We've got a video coming very shortly to let you know exactly what's going on there but we do have a heap of new creators coming on board. Some you know, some you don't know, so stay tuned. Uh, you'll know exactly what's going on very shortly. But in the meantime, let me give you a proper rundown on exactly what we're gonna do to this weapon. All right guys, so first off, you're gonna be asking why a ram? Now obviously that's a big question. I did try extremely hard to get the uh, 79 series over to America. I would have loved to have toured around in an Australian vehicle. Now look, you run into a few dramas. Now obviously you would have seen other companies over there that have had theirs there. It's very limited with where you can go and how you can take the vehicles around. To travel full time uh, on the road in America, it was a lot easier for us to go to a full American truck. Now look, before I built the 79, I toyed with a 2500 Ram. I went back and forwards. I ended up building the 79, but the 2500 has always piqued my interest. So this is a great opportunity for one, uh, me to actually get in a 2500. Secondly, it's a vehicle that you can purchase in Australia. It is one of the most popular American vehicles in Australia. So it's really relatable to uh, all of you guys thinking about possibly buying a Ram or that already have a Ram. And it's one of the biggest selling vehicles in America. So I wanted a vehicle that was gonna definitely hit home to a lot of uh, our audience out there. And look, I'm that excited to put the Australian twist on this Ram and build it to be the biggest, baddest 2500 Ram uh, cruising around. That's gonna be pretty hard to do. I don't think we're gonna compete with some of the American trucks because they're about 900 feet tall and they got tires hanging five foot out the side of the vehicle. But look guys, it is gonna be an Australian built Ram, something that you can replicate if you buy a 2500 Ram in Australia. So uh, look, we've gone with the tradesman. We were very limited on time and vehicle models uh, where we were actually able to grab one still in left-hand drive. This is definitely a once-off. If you're looking at building a car here in Australia and shipping it to America, please don't call the guys at OzMV. I had to get a huge favor off the team here to get this one over the line. So look, OzMV guys, they've got a dealership, uh, one in every major capital city. I think it's about 10 around Australia. They give you 230 service centers. So look guys, when it come to getting a converted Ram or F250, these guys, the OzMV group have been converting them since 2010, far before your Ram Australia and your F trucks were getting brought in by the Australian mobs. So they are leaps and bounds above the rest. So definitely worth checking out. So Let's go have a look at the Tradesman. I'll tell you what I love about it and what I don't love about it. Exactly what we're gonna do to fix that up. Okay guys, so like we said, we're on a time frame. We ended up with the Tradesman, which is sort of your entry level 2500 Ram, which means it's not quite as flash. 
which is probably a good thing for me because I'm a little bit of a grub. So we don't have all the fancy leather door trimmings, which is great. That's going to get covered in mud. I'll just be able to wipe that down anyway. Uh, we got the cloth seats. Doesn't matter what seats we've got, there's definitely going to be seat covers going on them to make sure all that's covered up. We are going to upgrade the steering wheel so we get all the correct controls, guys. The head unit is a little bit smaller than some of the other models. That will all get upgraded. But look, what you see here, most of it, guys, is going in the bin. The tub's going to go in the bin. All the grills is going to get done. All the chrome is already going to get deleted, so there was no point in having the fancier model. So really, there's not much difference by the time we're finished between this and one of the flasher models, other than a little bit of fancy leather. What exactly are we going to do for this build? Well, everything. So look, guys, this thing is going to be a ground-up rebuild. We're going to take it straight from here, straight down to the team at EC Off-Road. These guys are industry leaders when it comes to building American trucks. They've been pumping some of the biggest, baddest builds uh, out of Australia in the American vehicle. So we're going straight down, we're going to hit Kale up, and uh, I tell you what, the time frame on this thing is absolutely insane. We've got about a month, month and a half, to take this from a bog stock tradesman to the ultimate 2500 touring ram. To say I'm excited is an absolute understatement. The white, I didn't want the white specifically, so we're going to wrap it. Let us know in the comments what colour should we wrap the ram. Let us know anything you think we should do to this thing. Should we chuck it on four inches, 37s, 35s, a two inch lift? Should we go full tray canopy setup? We're definitely gonna go full tray canopy setup. Uh, but if there's anything you'd like to see on a Ram, guys, smack it in the comments below. Let me know what you think of the 2500 Ram. The good, the bad, crucify me, rip into me. Let it all out. Uh, I wanna know what you guys think of one, me building a 2500 Ram, and two, us going and touring around America and bring you guys some absolutely crazy content uh, from the US. Let's get into this ramp. Good mate, uh, new toy. All right. Get excited. We're on. We're on. So we've just got down to EC off road. We've got Carl from EC off road, Mike from Outback Hitters. The time frame's good boys. We've got like four weeks. Perfect, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't want a day more than that, would we? No. So uh, look, the, these boys are going to take care of the whole build from start to finish. We've got a lot to go through. So we're going to sit down now, run through most of what's going on. Yeah. But uh, you've, you've done a few 2,500 rams in your day, so it shouldn't be too much of a surprise. Yeah, we will. We'll do some uh, stuff from the top. Roof yep. racks, bars, suspension. You've got some wheels and tyres coming. Wheels, tyres. Custom paint, colour, chrome deleting. Chrome delete. We're going to wrap. The white's going to get gone straight away. So we've teamed up with the uh, guys at GCI, Traytech. They are industry leaders when it comes to the canopy and tray setups on your American trucks. The detail that they do is absolutely insane. So I think after we run through this, we might actually go up, see the boys. Yep. They do have a mock design ready to go, so we can go check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Right. Good. This is gonna be good. It's yeah, gonna be heavy. Yeah. All right, let's rip in. All right, guys, so we are down here at EC Off-Road. Now, if you've been following along, he's had his hand in just about every one of our builds. He sort of uh, built all of the GU for us as well. So look, Kale has been building a lot of different style American trucks. When it comes to building American trucks, he's definitely the man to go to. So we come down, we have sat down with him before and spoke about a little bit of a plan. Um, so pretty excited. I'm going to give him a fair bit of rain. There's obviously those typical products that I use uh, that I trust and believe in. So all of the, the, the normal products that we've been running for the last four years, guys, they're all going to be going into this build. But we're going to let Kale do some of his own little touches and tweaks. He's played with enough Rams, F-Trucks. Uh, he's built his own big chev, so he knows his way around these American trucks. We're going to go up there now, have a little bit of a meeting, run through a few ideas, chuck some things around. Uh, this video is going to come out like two weeks after we've shot this, guys, as well. So we literally have only just picked this thing up and we've got to build it now. So let us know in the comments if there's anything epic that you've seen on any builds you think we should incorporate on ours. Uh, and I'll tell you what, I'll be reading every comment uh, because we, we really want to make this sort of that ultimate touring uh, explore life ram. So let's go rip in with the boys and put our heads together, see what we can come up with. All right, so by now you guys should know EC Off-Road. It's been in plenty of our content, the big man, Carl. Who you might not know though, that we'll introduce is Mike from uh, Outback Hitters. 
Mate, run the audience through what you guys are up to. Uh, Outback Kit is, um, it's been uh, something in the making for the last two and a half years. We've been making all these accessories for the American vehicles, the stuff in Australia, it just wasn't quite up to par. The stuff out of the United States wasn't legal. Definitely couldn't live up to the harsh Australian outback. Yep. So we started making all of our own products locally here. Weirdly enough, we've been exporting over to the rest of the world for the last two and a half years as well. Yep. Uh, we've been gaining some really good traction and we're really excited to team up with you with this latest adventure, mate. So you'll see all the products slowly filter out throughout the build, but one of the big ones is getting rid of this bling front end. Yes. And uh, so the Outback Hitters bull bar will be going on. Uh, and there's a lot of other products, roof rack rattlers, there's a heap of products that I don't want to get too much out of the bag, but you'll see the Outback Kidders uh, product feature throughout the whole entire build. So any of those American trucks, jump over, check out their website now. There is a bucket load of accessories uh, and products that you can basically purchase straight away. Straight away, ready to go. And Absolutely. all of them will be featured in this vehicle, but um, yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a real cool adventure. We're super stoked to tee up with you and the Explore Life. And yep. Looking forward to seeing what comes out of it, mate. Hell yeah. Well, we're going to head up to the little meeting room now and we're going to rip in because we've sort of got to design the rest of the build. It's a bit of a big build here. You've <laughs> thrown some curveballs our way. You know, he's a picky guy, but we've got to make sure it doesn't break. Oh. We know how you drive. We know how you handle your truck. But, mate, most importantly, we know how our customers are going to use these things on the road and off the road. So it's going to be some good stuff coming out of here. Happy days. Last minute, Matt. we got about four weeks. Let's go. Here we go. All right, so we're just gonna go for a quick little wander around the factory, have a little look. We're also getting a sneak peek at the new kitchen setup, which I'm not gonna show you yet. You'll have to wait until the uh, canopy is done, but I can tell you, it's absolutely out of control. Let's go for a wander. So you would have seen they got the big automated laser uh, cutters over there. They're running basically 24 hours a day. They even run on the weekends down here. Straight out of there, straight into the boys that we just walked past them doing all the folding. So they make sure everything gets all folded up. Over here now, this is where the actual trays start. So the boys are welding everything up. Everything is done in-house, fully Australian made, Australian staff, it's good to see. About 100 blokes and women strong uh, in the factory at the moment. Uh, it's pretty wild to see it all come together. Getting excited, I tell ya. All right, well there you go guys. Massive video, I can't even believe that we've just picked up a ram. Uh, the boys have got their work cut out for them. Uh, <laughs> he's off me, let's be honest. But uh, guys, stay tuned. Let us know uh, in the comments, absolutely anything, what we should do to the ram. Uh, any questions about America, any questions about the content we're shooting in Australia, it's all coming very soon. But for now, it's all going over to Kale. Stay tuned, we're going to film the whole entire build video. Uh, shout out to all our subscribers, uh, you guys are legends. If you want any merch guys, links in the description below. This is a big year, cannot wait to get stuck in. Till next time, get out and enjoy the Explore Life. Alright.